Hi and welcome to the fourth installment of our run through with Dredge. So where we are is we left off the last episode at day 12. So what I've done in the last five days, because we were really short of cash and it was kind of holding us back a little bit, I just spent five days fishing and dredging in all of the spots that we'd previously been to in previous episode. Um, didn't do any more development than that. And uh, so th where we are is if we just go to cabin firstly we did pick up an extra couple of books along the way there now art of the silver tongue it was the mobile saleswoman that gave us that one so she just gave us that one out of the blue for some reason now the engineer's companion if we just go to map i did go back to steel point where we dropped off the builder pre in a previous episode and um she said that we could now use her place for storage uh, but she also gave us that book and that's where that came from so let's start reading one of those anyway. This one here is going to give us uh, a bonus in terms, or rather a um, discount when we go selling and buying stuff. This one's going to give us more speed. So I don't think too important at the moment. Anyway, you can see that our financial situation is much healthier because of uh, sh fishing for a couple of days. But you can also see that the storage locker is pretty much full up as well. So we need to go to the dry dock. We need to start doing a few things. Now, firstly, we managed to fill this one up and we now also have the money that we can up purchase this upgrade. So let's do that. And if we go to tab, it gives us a bit more space and in inventory now. All right, but it also gives us access to these three things here. So we can start to park some of these items in storage into the dry dock so that we can free up some storage space here. So let's do that. In fact, I'm gonna buy this upgrade straight away because we do like having extra engine spaces. And if we just go to the ship right here and look at her engine options. Now we do have space for one engine thingy there. And if we go to research, what we could actually do is researching this guy here. Because that only takes up one block and it would give us an extra 9.5 knots. We could go down this route. And we will eventually, of course. But uh, we've only got four research parts, so we can't do this right yet. But it's worth bearing in mind. We've got a choice here. We can either just go for the uh, fast option here, which will add 10 knots. And that's what we'll probably do before we... Because we're already pretty fast. And with this, I think we would be fast enough doesn't feel like we're crawling around anymore like we were in the first episode but anyway let's just get back to the dry dock and park a few more things away so that we've got some more space and remember we picked up this in the uh, gale cliffs as well we have to hand this back to the collector so our goals in this episode apart from what we've just done i'm going to purchase that as well just to get it out of the way and then we're going to work on this one so we've got the metal. We've got the bolt of cloth. So we are short of the wood. We don't have any... Yeah, we're two wood short here. Okay. So we can just bear that in mind. But we don't need it urgently anyway. But there's some um, extra four spaces, actually. That wouldn't do any harm. But the next thing we need to do, just going back to our storage here is give this back to the collector so what we're gonna do what i'm gonna do first i think is go the, sorry i had to pause there but back again so what i want to do here is i want to buy um a crab pot off him because once we get to stellar basin our goal today is to firstly give that thing back to the collector but then head off to stellar basin and um what we want to do we just go back to the ship right no, sorry, it's research, because if we look at the um, options here, I want to be able to get this. And the only way we can get this is to go to Stellar Basin and, and talk to somebody called the researcher there. So that's what we're going to do. All right, let's sleep till 3.30 and then get going. Okay, 3.46, that'll do. And away. Yeah, if we equip haste, I mean, we're not that slow anymore. 
So I don't think there's any great urgency on upgrading our engines. But anyway, let's just get over to the collector and give him what he wants. Remember, it's in storage, so we have to go to storage first. Take it out. Actually, let's put that into storage. We don't need to be carrying that right now. Okay, collector. So you've returned. You drag the massive music box, etc. Removed from inventory. Doesn't matter what you say here. So click through the chat and he gives us this new skill. Which is... Manifest. Now, this is quite a good one because it's basically a fast travel option back to him. So wherever we are in the map, we can then activate the fast travel and we'll just reappear back and uh, back at his place. So let's just disengage. If you go to E, that's this thing here. So if you, okay, so we've now got that activated. If we uh, right mouse click and hold it. It will just basically fast travel us back to here. Okay, so we now have that ability. All right, let's take off. Now I'm just going to head for straight for Stellar Basin here. So I'm not going to go stopping off anywhere, but there is a um, a dredging spot here. You can see four dredging spots. So it seems like wherever you've got four. There, one of them's going to be wood, one of them's going to be those um, bolts of cloth. You know, one's going to be iron, and the other one's going to be a trinket. So I'll do find cod. Okay, that just went into our net. So I'm going to do that off camera rather than... Um, I'll try and do as much fishing and dredging off camera. Oh, we've got some stress going on here. Just looking at our eye up there. The fact that our screen has gone pink. I'm guessing something's after us. I don't see anything on our tail. Anyway, we can't stop and look back because... Um, well, now we can. We can't look when we're docked, can we? No. So this is the researcher at this place here. So we just look on the map, the old fortress. We could see that from quite a ways out there. So she basically just, uh, it doesn't matter what you say here. She asks us to go and find three different types of sea creature. We'll see that in a minute. So pursuit added. So she wants these three things. Uh, firstly, an octopus. Now you can only catch this in crab pots, and that's why I bought the crab pot before we came here. When we go to the mobile sales lady over the way there, uh, we'll get another one. So at least we'll have two crab pots on the go tonight. Now this one you can only get through um, dread. Sorry, um, trawling, and that's the reason we bought the trawl net earlier in an earlier episode because I wasn't convinced it would pay for itself. Which it probably hasn't done by now. It will do over the longer term, but not right now. But if we didn't have it by now, we would have to buy it right today. Because um, you can only get this trawling. So to meet this pursuit, you have to have this. Now, firefly squid, you can only, that's a nighttime fish, so we can get that at night. And they're quite easy, so it's just um, these two, really. This is probably going to be the harder one, because it means that we just have to trawl around at night until it arrives. This one's just going to appear in the pot as and whenever. Okay, done. So let's head off to the mobile saleswoman. We're just looking at the map. She's right here. So we can go to the left or to the right. But I just want to pick up one thing. Is something chasing us? No. If you just stop off at this little wreck here, look inside. You've got this map here. I'm not going to pick it up because it just gives you the location of um, some treasure. 
and it's really not that hard to find so you don't really need to pick up the map and take up all this space here in your inventory because all you need to do is basically head straight here and you come across it almost immediately if you just look down you could just see it there ahead of us so that's all that map does it just tells us where this is which is a bunch of sellables but also one of these things if you remember these cost um 500 to buy and we're going to need three of these in the next hull upgrade and we're not that far away from it so we've got this one here and if we remember there was one back at the gale cliffs that we haven't picked up but there is also another one here um, in this general area which we can also get so we can get them all without having to buy one and given their price of 500 we don't mind that now this for example we can't is abyssal but that's a pretty high priced fish but we can't get that yet so let's just see where we are yep there's the mobile sales lady right ahead there So first thing we want to do is we want to be meeting that uh, fishing order. So if we just go to, um, firstly, do we have anything to sell here? Yeah, we do in the net, right? Okay, so that gives us another hundred. Now, shipyard, um, no, fish market. Does she have any more net? Um, yes, she does crab pots so let's just put all this in storage we don't need to be carrying it around let's just go back to storage and get this crab pot here so that octopus is the only way we can get that as mentioned is in a crab pot but all we can do is just drop a couple and just hope for the best. So we're into nighttime fishing. Oh, Aurora jellyfish. That's one of them. That was extraordinarily lucky. Because sometimes you have to trawl around uh, most of the night to get one of those. Because you can only get them at night time. Now she's going to be wanting firefly squid as well. So this is another one. So the, uh, the last one is that... Um, it's a trophy. The last one was that octopus, and the only thing we can do there is just wait around. So I'll be back um, once it appears in our crab pot. Okay, and here we are. We're the morning after the day after, actually. So this took uh, like one and a half, close to two days for one of those uh, octopus things to appear in the nets, but I've just seen that one of them's there. Now we do have a high level of stress, which we've got to do something about. So we have to sleep for two hours, done. All right, so now we have everything. Now the amount of time that it took for this jobby to arrive. Oops, I didn't mean to pick it up. Um, let's just go E tab. I'll put back down again. All right, so we have this in inventory. So let's just get back to the uh, researcher. All right, coming into the dock now. So let's just talk to the researcher and give her what she wants. Now, we did have a couple in storage. Now, I was worried about this one rotting. So I actually got another one last night just in case. Name here. But we did lose one. There we go. So good job we've got a spare one. Anyway, researcher. So now we've got all of the specimens that she wants. So let's give her this one. Uh, let's give her the one's rotting, one's stale. Let's give her the rotting one. I don't think she minds. Okay, done. Pursuit resolved. Now, next thing is she's going to want us to go. She tells us there's a monster and that... Um, we have to go to this place and pick up some prototype parts for her. And the place that we want to go to is right here. That X there, that's uh, what the collector's... Um, the thing that the collector wants. So we want to go to... Um, where are we? Yeah, top to our right there.
let's pick up that on the way. Because we have to pick up the prototype parts and take them back to her. And then she's going to give us a rod where we're going to be able to start fishing for abyssal type fish. And that's what we're really here for. But first we have to come here. Because there is kind of a lagoon here and uh, there's a monster at the bottom. If we try going fishing in the middle of this area here, then um, fish kind of sticks an arm out and damages our boat. We don't want that to happen. But anyway, laboratory. So we just click through all the options here. A couple of these are going to give us uh, research parts. Yep. Now this is what we came for, the prototype parts. I think there's more to be had, let's just uh, make sure we look everywhere. Yep, another one of those, okay. Right, good, so that's all we can do here. The generator doesn't do anything because um, she's going to give us something to fix the generator. Alright, let's get back to her anyway, pick this up along the way. Coming in on the researcher now. Do I have those prototype parts for you? So she now gives us this sampling device here, and this allows us, this is basically a rod that allows us to catch abyssal type fish. Now we could install it straight away. I'm not going to do that, I'm going to do it at night time. And she also tells us that if we go back to that place with the generator, she's got this thing here. And if we install that, then it'll keep the monster at bay during the day, which means we can then start going to fish for these four fish here. And this is our next mini quest with her. Now, if we look at these, this is Abyssal and this is Abyssal. She gave us a rod which can catch these two, but these two here our Hadal, so we're going to have to do something about that. And we will do, but let's just get back to... Um, let's go install that part first. Now it's up our right. So we've got 350, we've got time to do this and get back to the mobile sales lady before night time. Or maybe not. Coming into night time now, but we'll be able to get back before it's too late. Before our stress kicks up too high, that is. So now we click on the generator and we just need to install this thing here. Oh, we get another one of those. Okay. So activate the machine. Yep, nice one. So now, the um, the big baddie at the base of this um, lagoon here doesn't attack us whenever we go over the top of it. He's still down there, but he doesn't spear us. And it means that we can fish up here without getting attacked. But we don't have the um, abyssal rod attached yet, so let's go do that. Basically, all of the fish in this um, basin here are the ones that she wants us to catch. Abyssal and Hadal, but they also pay a lot of money. So once we get this installed, then that's where we can start to make... Um, we can solve all of our financial problems. So if you're going to research here, firstly, this now means that we can research into this. So I don't know why it's not letting us do it immediately. Let's try that again. Okay, let me just figure out why we can't do this immediately. Back in a minute. Okay, back again. So I have no idea why I couldn't do that in the first place, but all I did was go into storage, pick this up, put it back again, go back to here, and then suddenly we can invest in that. So I've got no idea what happened there or why it worked that way. But anyway, 
What we want to do now is buy this because it allows us to catch both Abyssal and Hadal. So let's do that. So that's a uh, shipyard, isn't it? So she's now got this for sale. So um, first thing is, let's disengage this. Put it in storage and let's do the same here. We're not, we don't really care about um, trawling too much. And let's install this. So we're going to stop trawling and we're just going to be fishing for Abyssal and Hadal over the next few days. And what it's going to do is really bump up our finances very, very quickly. But it's also going to be that pursuit um, of the researcher, where we have to get those two Abyssal fish and also those two Hadal fish. So I think it's just worthwhile just freeing up the space here, because if we fill up this whole thing, every single catch that we get each day is going to give us about 750 which is um, going to bump our finances up very, very quickly. Meanwhile, we've got the crab pots going, so uh, we haven't checked those today. So let's just have a look. We'll take all those. So this is going to be our typical sort of... Um, now these guys are only worth about 10 each so I'm just going to actually um, how big is that one? 57, this one's 61 I'm just going to discard this it's only about worth about $10 it takes up a lot of space so this is going to be our typical income from the pots each day roughly 145 plus about 750 from the fish that we catch so it's going to be a 800 to 900 a day from here on out, which is pretty nice. But anyway, let's sell that off. Now, let's also get that engine because we can. So let's just go to research. We've got seven research parts. And I'm kind of liking the option of the speed here. Let's do that. Because if we're just going to be um, fishing for these two types of fish. We don't need to be investing in any rods over the next couple of days. And this is just going to bump our money up to the point where we can really do anything we want. So anyway, I'm just going to leave the episode here and then we'll start fishing. Well, I'll fish for maybe five days. Um, I'll do one on camera tomorrow and then I'll end the episode there. And um, then I'll just keep going for a few more days just to bump the finances up. So let's just go to 3.30 anyway. All right. Okay, 423, that's good enough. So, we need to head back to the um, that place there. So let's do that. Well, okay, let's just get some fishing in while the um, thing is still going. Oh, this is the... Um, Yeah, we want to get it out of here. That's the relic that the collector wanted. Okay, so what we're going to be doing each day is basically the following. We're going to be activating the generator. That'll keep the monster at bay. Activate, yes. And that basically gives us the rest of the day to go fishing. So for example, one of the fish that she wanted was this. So if we just concentrate on the fish that she wanted us to catch first. And she wanted one of these. So let's just spend today meeting her little quest. And she wanted one of these. So that's three of the ones. Now what about this? It's a trinket. We've already got one of those.
got one of those. Well, let's just head back to the... Um, we're missing one. I don't know which one it is. So let's just head back to the researcher and see what we're missing. But anyway, you can see the sort of fishing spots you've got available here in the basin. And if you just fill your tanks up each day, you're going to get about 750 per day. But we're missing a type of fish, and I don't know which one it is. So what's this here? Oh yeah, it's this one, isn't it? So this one wasn't available in the basin. Okay. All right, let's get back to the researcher and meet her requirements. About those specimens. Remember, you'll want to install and activate the machine. Now, we've already done that, so that's the first one. There's the second one. There's the third one. There's the fourth one. Pursuit resolved. Okay, good news and bad news. All right, good news I've learned about causing absent remedies. Bad news that samples you retrieved. So she needs to write up a report. Okay, and she gave us a book. Okay. So we're now done with the researcher, although there is um, a little mini pursuit where we find a dog. And when we do find a dog, we have to give it to her. Anyway, I'm going to leave the episode there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the mobile sales lady and then just go through that routine for a few days where uh, we take off at about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Then we go activate the generator and then we just fish for Abyssal and Hadal in the basin there. I'm gonna, just going to do that for about four or five days. And then um, when I come back and start the next episode, we should find that our financial situation is in a pretty good place and then we'll take it from there okay so thanks for watching bye